live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the New York Yankees. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set and starting this one Carlos Rodon power pitcher he's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger the fastball will beat them George Springer the leadoff batter as he looks at ball one. Rodon ready. Here comes that one down the line and foul ball. And that's a foul ball. Next Whoa, offering right is there. down low. The count now two and two. Hey. Swing and a miss. Stuck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count oh. off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Bull Bichette nope. up to the dish. One down, base is empty. Aye. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The lefty fires. Got him looking for the K. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one, punching out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. That clips the inside corner for a strike. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. Two outs, base is empty. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Oh, that'll that make you feel good as a hitter right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Justin Turner now. Right through there for a strike. Don sets and deals. That's in there. That is strike two. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. So one hit is all they get. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Back here in New York, getting the nod in this one, Kevin Gossman. 
Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I've become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. D.J. LeMay here. Stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Bounce to the right. Steps on first for the out. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Now the 0-1. Judge rips that one. And that's that one. just foul. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two gone now. First strikeout for him in this one. And that splitters may be the go-to right pitch when he's looking for a oh. swing and miss like that. He throws it go quite go. a bit, and that's a good that's example of the effect it can have on a hitter. Juan Soto in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Two down, nobody on. Ball two. Wouldn't ball. chase that time. Three balls, no strike. And that clips the inside corner. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Three two now. Goes down looking. Yanks held in check. We played an inning. No score. Back at Yankee Stadium. Here's the third baseman, Kevin Biggio. Kevin Biggio. The wind of the pitch. Biggio hitting fifth in today's lineup, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2016. Next offering is in for a strike. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boog, he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. In the air, left field. Dives, but it falls. Could be extra bases. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's the second baseman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 0 and 1. No score here in the second. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike, and it's nothing in two. Quickly into an 0 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher 
because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Rodon Flackers. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That one lifted to left. And it falls. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Picks himself up in RBI. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. And they add a couple more. It's 3-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. He was late there, strike one. Can be tough to bounce back after big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Nobody out with three runs in already this frame. Here at the top of the second. Hard hit right side. Torres oh. over to first. And that's the first out. Nice recovery Got after it. giving up the homer. The center field. Kevin. Kevin. Kiermaier. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris. It's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. One out, base is empty. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times a ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Misses outside, and it's two and two. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's now why he makes so many great plays. So the batting order turns over, and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one is in for a strike. Two outs. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And now the lefty. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it Got himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now in the Bronx. And Four now here's the veteran DH, John Carlos Stanton. John Carlos. Well, after putting up a yeah, nice yeah, hitting yeah. on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there hey. while they're hot. Pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Gosman, an all-star a season ago, 33 years old, a former first-round pick, back in 2012 at the Belton Fires. Gets hey. him to chase after that one. Well, you no got the hitter right. already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. 
Next on, offering Matt, misses, and a count one and two. Riding to the play. And now the count is even. It's a good take. Two balls, two strikes. Next okay. offering is downstairs. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Three, two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Payoff pitch. Swung on, back to. Marshall moving back for it. And that one is out of here. And they close the gap. It's 3-1. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, again. he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. He dropped the barrel right there. Got a fastball down at the knees where he prefer it. So many times now, guys are having to adjust to the elevated fastball. So I'm sure his eyes got big when he saw that one coming. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Swings hey. through that one. Oh, and oh, one. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. Pitch. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider that right there. And I don't mean to laugh. I mean, that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout oh, pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Here's Glaber Torres. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Torres, multi-time All-Star, 27 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Kicks and deals. Fouled off left side. And he'll two. Now this is in the air down the line. Varsho makes the catch. Two down. Batting seven. No left fielder. Alex. Here's Alex Verdugo. And the corner for a strike. One one. in the air left field Varsho makes the play and that's the inning Yankees get a homer to cut the lead it's now a 3-1 ball game back in New York top half of the third inning and now for the Jays Bo Bichette Here comes a pitch. Ah, that hit, that him. hit him. And first. the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, definitely a breakdown in his mechanics yeah, on that out. one. He just That's lost the team. handle and Lattimore. ended up Lattimore. way off target. Laddie, oh, the next to hit, takes outside. Nobody out, runner at first. And downstairs. Oh. 
that one finds the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Good approach right there. Look at something. Just a Bichette goes. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Bichette on at first. Nobody out. That just misses, and that's ball three. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Climbs into that right side. Over no one so far. No delivers outside. Next pitch misses, and the count is two and zero. Oh. And a good eye there. Stairs and it misses ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's gonna have to buckle down right here. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. That's a little bit low. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have shown patience not going outside the strike zone. Misses. Now two and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late. Opposite field not. Two on, one out. Foul ball. Another 2 2 upcoming. misses drilled to right way back there and that is gone and they add to the lead it's 6-1 He wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Base is empty, one away. Now it's the second baseman. First well, pitch just misses. One down, base is empty. Nope, at the ball. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. 
The wind of the pitch. That one missed. Ground ball left foul, side foul and it goes just foul. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Already three runs across in the frame. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one back there. And he can't make the play. And he'll pull into second safely. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Carlos Rodon is done in this one, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. New pitcher for the Yankees, Luke Weaver. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Dalton Varsho digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. And there's a the ball. Ball one, no strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a miss. And the count even one and one. And it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Too long. They had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, no, no. known for using no, the no. entire field. Oh, no. Just couldn't sit back long enough no, no. on that one. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. Grounded out his first time up. Just missed. Man on second, two down. Out there to center. Judge getting an angle on it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Three run shot for the Jays this inning. And this is now a 6 1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back in the Bronx, set for the, the bottom Yankees. of the third, and stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Volpe. The right-hander back to work. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Yeah, that's ball one. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. The 1-0. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 1-1 is fouled off. And the pitch. The oh. shortstop takes the ball. Two, two, the count. Right hander kicks deals. Three and two. And that's outside. Full count now. Outside, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And now Austin Wells splits the plate, strike one. The 
Left hand batter waits. That one is absolutely belted. Our show moving back for it. And it is gone. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 6-3. That swing just injected more drama into this one. His bat looks like it's in the zone for such a long time, and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Just oh, missed. And the 1 0. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do bad. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. The Blue Jays leading by three here in the last half of the third. That Whoa, one outside, out. two and two. We Slider misses count. outside. And here it comes. This one smoked on its way. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. Here is Aaron Judge. He struck out swinging at his first stick back. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Oh, Just a cookie right down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Watch Soto now. He's 0 for 1. First offering, and it just misses. There's no way around it. Soto is one of the most exciting players in baseball. His hitting skills are so advanced, you'd think he would played in Major League Baseball in a different life or something. Yeah, the right-hander deals, and that's in for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Judge gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Pitch Ball misses. Two. two and one. You know, these Yankees do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already. So I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Ball Next one is off the plate. Three balls and a strike. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. The 3-1. Hey. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Good. Runner at first with no outs here. And he walked him. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. 
He's already homered in this game. And fouled off. No outs, runners at first and second. That one close, rule the ball. One and one. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs to call for a strike. Struggling with command hey. issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. One ball, two strikes. One two misses to even the count. Very close pitch there, and that was a big one. Clearly, he thought he got the inside corner on the mound, and he's showing his frustration a little bit. On the ground a second, might be two. Over to Machette. Relay to first, double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Just missed. Runner at third, two away. Next offering upstairs. And that's outside. Glaber Torres waiting to hit for the Yankees. See if he gives him anything to hit here. That one at the knees for a strike. Two outs. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That's back. Gone. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. So two away with nobody on. Now here is Glaber hey. Torres. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Tied up here in the early going. Right through there for a strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two down, nobody on. One not ball. even close two there. Three. And the count is 1 and 2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Oh, and that's inside. off the inside edge, and it's two and two. Three. Got him looking. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs.
Start of the fourth. And now for the Jays, Kevin Kiermeyer. Kevin Kiermeyer. Weaver back to work. And a foul ball left side. Well, these Jays really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They were obviously able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, and now I'm sure they're thinking it's time to feast. The 0-2. That's well, down and in. So if they're looking to feast, are you saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back for seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'd say something like that. Here you go. Checks his swing, appeal to third, and he won around. Rule the swing. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? And the batter is George Springer. There's a strike. Oh, one's the count. All tied up, top half of inning number four. That That's one misses, and it's one and one. One down, base is empty. Went too far that time, it's one and two. And that's in the dirt. That one misses, and it's a full count. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the righty deals. Ground ball, Rizzo picks it up. He steps on the bag. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. So two down now, and here is Bo Bichette. To third, handled by LeMayhew. Gets it to first, and the Blue Jays go down one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. Score remains tied, six apiece. Back for more Maybe from the Bronx. Bottom of the game. inning. Now the left no fielder, left Alex Verdugo. Verdugo. The pitch. In the air to left center, Varsho. Sizing this one up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And a quick out, number one. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Mitch White. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to head on. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. And here is Anthony Volpe. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Clips the corner. It's 0-1. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Yeah. Swings through that one. Wow, no fair oh, right there. Yeah. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And one and two. To 
the right side. And that one handled on to first. Oh. And there's two away. Now back up. The catch -up. Okay. Tied at six. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Kirk makes the grab, and that's the inning. Down in order go the Yankees. So we're still tied at six. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he deals. All one, one there. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Nope, that swing so reminiscent of his dad. Lots of pop. Movement in the bullpen. Ian Hamilton appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. And that one upstairs. The pitch. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Well, they came right at him right there. Challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but gotta imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. Hey. You might hit his head a little bit. Two more. Two Kicks and fires. I got three and two. And yeah, there's ball four. Take the break. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Turner up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. Fly ball down the line. Soto gets under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One away. Can't field it cleanly. Now got it. Tied at six. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. On the ground of first. Oh, great stop. To his knee, the throw. Rizzo oh, tossed the second. On to first, save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Here's the second baseman. And that drops in for a strike. pitch and that's nope. down it away chop to the left side LeMayhew in plenty oh. of time to first and that is that so it's no runs on no hits no errors and one left on base home half of the fifth coming up and we're all even at six apiece.
And we're back. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. DJ LeMayhew. Here comes a pitch. And there's a foul ball. You know, these Yankees putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, Aye. get him out of the game before he settles in. So oh, I'd say right. mission accomplished. And the pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Judge the at the play. One for two. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That one fouled off. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. At the belt and fires. That one buddy. not close. And the count is one and one. Not close with that one. And a count two and one. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Kiermaier settles underneath it. Pulls it in for the out. And there's two down. Now back, right fielder. Oh, here's Juan Soto. Soto. Soto measures six feet two inches, 225 pounds, and he's a former home run derby champ. That hey. one in there across the letters. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Kiermaier pulls that one down, and that is that. So the Yanks go in order. This game remains tied at six. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. The right-hander back to work. And that one fouled off. Lifted in the air right center field. Sizes this one up. And there's one away. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. First pitch, and he just misses. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick right. feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Kicks and deals. That ball too. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. All tied up, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Next pitch in for a strike, and now it's three and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Yeah. 
Righty delivers. Adam Slinion. That's out number two. He's got to throw any pitch at any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. The pitch. And a foul ball. The 0-2. Wouldn't chase that time. Three. And a swing and a miss. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, bottom of the six, Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Here, the right hitter back to work. Wouldn't One chase that time. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Chad Green up and loosening in the pen. Swanson warming up as well. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that lands at no man's land a foul ball. Just nope, missing there. It's two and two. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. Two, two now. And yeah, that's two, outside. Ten. way through so a man on base to start the inning well patience and discipline no, no, paid no. off right We're there as he got into an advantage okay. count. everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's no, no, no. game but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground it's gonna find some holes and here's the first baseman Anthony Rizzo in there that's strike one left hand hitter waits way out front for strike two he can live up in his own all game if hitters will chase it that's just too much velocity hitters got to look down in the zone The 2 Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Labor Torres up to the plate. Runner on the goal. And that one fouled off. 
with the go-ahead run at first here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Kiermaier makes a nice grab and a full sprint. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making plays on the run, and we saw it right there. That's a player you want patrolling center field. Someone who can attack the ball off the bat. Tied at six. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. Fastball in for a strike going along. On its way to the corner. And that will drop foul. And the pitch. That one, one ball, almost got him. Two strike. Line drive and makes the play, and that's out number three. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Tommy Canely. Number 41. Tommy Canely. Here's George Springer to start it off. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Springer. And he deals. Not even close there. And that's ball one. Foul ball there. up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Wells collects, fires to first, in time to get him, one away in the strikeout. There's the shortstop at the play, Bo Bichette. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. Foul ball. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Here's the 0-2. Stays alive. Down, base is empty. Three. Got him. Two out. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Keep him straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Two outs. And that one missing low. Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Two down, nobody on. 
ripped on the ground a second to first and that is the inning so they make short work of them there midway in inning number seven and it's time to stretch and we're all even at six apiece we're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh eric swanson number 50 eric swanson Tied at six. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. The shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. All one's the count. Swings and misses. And it's only two. two. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. One ball, two strikes to count. The inside edge. And the count is two and two. On the ground, right side. The throw to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The batter. The catcher. Here's the catcher to hit. Austin Wells. Just off forward. the inside edge. There's a strike. Outside corner for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. And here it comes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Close one, doesn't get the call. Two and two. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. That okay. one way inside. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Kiermeyer trying to get there, and that quickly two away. Now Up to the plate steps DJ LeMay here. One for three. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Inning over. The DH, Justin, Justin Turner. Justin. Canely back to work. That's, That's off the mark. Ball one. Count one and oh. Righty to the plate. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. And the righty deals. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. 
And it's caught for the out. Kevin Biggio next up for the Blue Jays. Uh-oh, that got him. And the potential winning run is aboard. Now the pressure is already high, and now, now it's been cranked up to another <laughs> level. Man, his head must be spinning out there on the mound. He's got to find a way to slow things down. That breathing technique, boo. Let everything out. Fall off foul. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And the right hander deals. Oh. Just missed. Put a layoff that pitch down. Outside. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Hey. Swing and a miss. The two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stand on the double play right here. The pitch. And another ball. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you. So you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Right-handed reliever. Swings and misses. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho. First pitch misses. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Strike one. I got a ball, one strike. Swings and misses at the pitch off the pole. And he really sells the change up with that arm action. This one blasted the other way. Down the line and it's a foul ball. Foul ball still a one and two count. Teased his own with that fastball a little bit up, fouled it off. Expect him to go a little bit higher with this next one. In the Two dirt. To second, and he's out. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Chad Green gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Number 57. It's Aaron Judge now. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. The pitch. Judge over the top. Toronto's bullpen Four with one. some action. Henesis Cabrera getting ready to go. Ground ball to the right side. Guerrero oh. steps on the bag, and that's one away now as the leadoff man is the out right in the eighth. Oh, such a confidence boost for a reliever no, no. to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Soto, the next.
next to hit takes ball one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. To the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. Exactly the pitch he was looking for, crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. One down, Giancarlo Stanton stepping in now for the Yankees. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Green, in his eighth season, he features a four-seam fastball, a curb, and he works in a two-seamer. That clips the zone, and that is strike one. Big swing and a miss. He's been great in this one. Eye hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. One out, base is empty, and a run in here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. A one two. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. And that's off that's the inside time. edge. Two balls, two strikes. And a pitch. Helpful. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Foul off again. And it remains three and two. comes a pitch and that's, that's too cool. high ball four it wasn't easy but he earned that walk after a long at bat you know Boog it's been said no, these no, guys no. are savages Perfect. in the box you can see it right there with such tight plate oh, discipline no. yeah the batter now Anthony Rizzo and that one wrapped foul Misses off the plate, off the plate. and that is ball one. That one ripped. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Cut off, throw to second, wide throw, and it gets away. Pulls him to third safely as a run scores. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. 
didn't quite have the right combination of Trevor Richards will take over here. Well, this offense has great opportunity to add on right here with a runner at third, less than two outs. So they're asking him to come through in a big way out of the bullpen. He's got bases to work with, so he doesn't have to challenge this guy too much if he doesn't want to. Runner at third with one gone. Here's Glaber Torres. I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone here. Pitcher's looking for a strikeout or a ground ball, hoping to keep that runner at third. Here's a safe fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Rizzo stands at third with one gone in the inning. A swing and a soft line. That's a base hit as a run scores. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. One gone runner at first. And now Alex Verdugo. Verdugo. Right through there for a strike. Man at first, one away. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. Going oh two now. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt, well done behind the dish. Kicks and deals. Ball two. The punch out there, and there's two away. Man at first, up, up, digging up, in. Up. Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Two outs. The shortstop the takes a ball. One and one. Next Whoa, pitch right misses outside, and it's two and one. And it's fouled away. Pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And that's in the dirt. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And that's ball four. Take your break. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The now, game now, plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So first and second with two outs. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. No ball, two strike. Next nope. pitch downstairs, <laughs> and it's one and two. Tough to take a two strike changeup that just missed. They get frozen. Three. Swings and misses, and that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning over.
Three runs on three hits, one a solo shot. Ninth inning coming up. The Yankees nine and the Blue Jays six. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Clay Holmes. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. A ball former all-star. Right. He features a sinker, a slider, a slurb, and he works in a four-seamer. That one missing inside. Next offering is down low. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. That one fouled off. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Here's your one. And there's a foul ball. Yankees up by three here at the top of the night. And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Now Kevin Kiermaier next up for the Blue Jays. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. That misses. 1 and 0. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Varsho, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. In the air out towards right center. Judge getting an angle on it. Nabs it. The right so it's their last chance in this one. Here's George Springer. 0 for 4, two strikeouts. And two ground outs. Flips the corner. Strike one. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The bat at number 11. Bobachette gets a chance to hit. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. That one way outside. And that's ball one. The tying run at the plate. There's a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter.
Tying run at the plane. Bound back our way, and that's out of play. Holmes is just one strike away. Got him! And that is the ball game. Listen, when you're down by five, you know you have an opportunity to get back in the ball game, but you're also going to have to keep that other team from increasing that lead to perhaps 10. They did just that. Both sides of the ball, excellent job to get the win in this one. 9-6 the final in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.